Hello everyone, welcome to GTR Gaming HD. I hope you guys are having a splendid day today. I'm going to teach you guys how to get the PlayStation 2 emulator fully working in RetroArch in Steam. Alright, let's get started. First off, you're going to need 7-Zip or WinRAR, whatever you prefer, but in this video I am going to use 7-Zip. That's what I prefer. But Alright, first things first, obviously you're going to need Steam and I will link that in the description if you don't have Steam. And I will also provide the link to RetroArch to the Steam store. But I'm not going to teach you guys how to install Steam. It's, it's pretty obvious. And I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos out there to teach you how to do that if you guys don't know how to do that. But in this video, I am going to teach you guys how to use the PlayStation 2 emulator on RetroArch, on Steam, etc. Alright, well first things first, install Steam. I am going to install Steam on my D drive, but if you guys want to install it on your C drive or whatever other drive you have, I'm going to install it on my external SSD drive. So, click next, creating local game files, allocating disk space. Alright, I will get back to you guys when it is done downloading. Alright, I'm back. It is done downloading now. Let's open up our file explorer and we will go to our location of where our Steam folder is. Open up Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and let's look for our RetroArch folder which is right here. Alright, let's minimize this and then let's start RetroArch for the first time so it will automatically create the necessary files we need. All right. Now when you go to load core, yours will say install or restore core and start remote retro pad. The reason why these are showing on mine is because I downloaded these off the actual Steam store because they had these ROMs, uh, these cores already. But let's go back here and we are going to quit RetroArch and let's go back to our RetroArch folder as you can see it created the necessary folders we needed so now let's go to our download folder and we're going to 7-zip or WinRAR the files that I have provided in the link in the description click OK we're going to open up cores we're going to copy or cut, whatever you prefer. And then we're going to go back to our RetroArch folder. And we're going to go right here and hit paste. Me, it's going to say replace the files because like I said, I already have files installed from Steam, but I'm going to hit replace. And now when you open up your cores, all the cores are there. We are going to go back to the core folder go back to our downloads and extract our system folder and I will get back to you guys when it is done extracting alright it has done extracted now let's open up system you want to copy or cut whatever you prefer and go back to RetroArch and then go here and hit paste and I will get back to you guys when it is done pasting. All right, the folder has finished pasting, so now let's go back to our Steam. Let's close this for now. Let's go back to our Steam. Turn our controller on if you have a controller. And let's start up RetroArch. And now let's go to load core and as you can see all the cores are in our RetroArch on Steam loaded in. And there's Dreamcast, there's PlayStation 2, you got um, GameCube. Alright so what I like to do, which as you guys can see down here where it says PlayStation 2, what I like to do is go to import content, go to manual scan, 
system name and on your keyboard click the right arrow key to go down faster and we will look for PlayStation 2 and now go to a default core and we will do the same thing with the right key on the keyboard and look for PCSX2 and then we will go to our content directory wherever your games are stored I am not going to teach you guys how to get games I am not going to show you guys where to get games if you guys want to go to the shady parts of the net go right ahead but mine are legally owned and ripped to my computer go to wherever my external hard drive is which is the D drive go to PlayStation 2 go to my ISOs and then hit scan this directory and then you go all the way down and then hit start scan and when it says complete go up here and click back and then you will see PlayStation 2 and then you see that there's no thumbnail available if you want a thumbnail just click on the game you want and then hit download thumbnails all right after you guys downloaded the thumbnail as you can see there's the thumbnail hello everyone all right I figured out how to get the PlayStation 2 emulator into full uh, resolution what you want to do is go to settings go to drivers go to your video driver change it to the highest driver you have mine is D12 or Vulcan but I use D12 and then after that you want to go to <coughs> After that, you want to go to video, then you want to go to the output, change your resolution to whatever resolution you have, 4K, but mine is 1080, uh, full screen mode, change it to 1920 by 1080, or 4K resolution, whatever you guys have. Same with window mode, you want everything to be 1920 by 1080, and then you want your scaling, same as this, 1920 by 1080. You want like last time and Turger scale you want it on and then after that after everything is set completely then you want to go to main menu go to configuration save your current configs and after that then you can go to your PS2 whatever game you want and you go to your game and just start it up and there you go full resolution and to access the quick menu L3 R3 and now you can change this to 4k resolution and you are good to go The Reaver was forged with the power of light, and now my way was clear. I would seek out Ariel at the Pillars, and see if she could enlighten me.